Hello, in this video I will show you how to work with WordPress metadata in taxonomies filter. Of course, it's existing documentation of this filter, but I think it's better one time watch than a lot of time reading. So let's do it. So what we have? Simple WordPress site. We have posts and we want to filter it. Just now we want to filter it is just only by taxonomies. So uh, for beginning, let's install the plugin. Installation of the plugin is the same procedure as for all other plugins. Add new. As we bought it from the code canyon, we can upload plugin. Or we can upload plugin from the WordPress repository using uh, search plugin. Just now, let's upload the plugin. So I prepared it already. Activate. So we have it installed already. Let's go to the settings page. Uh, let's uh, first let's do nothing here, except one thing. Let's go to the pages. After installation of the plugin, it will be created this page. Uh, we have only copy paste its link here and touch nothing so uh, let's look to first options this is search result page output search template what is it uh, by default it's search what does it mean why search why uh, something another Look, let's uh, look on the standard 2016 then. It have uh, two interesting for us files, search and archive. So this word search means search PHP, but without extension here. And of course I can write here archive PHP. But let's make test with the search firstly. And touch nothing. So we want filter posts by taxonomies only. Okay, okay, let's go to the widgets. Sidebar, sidebar. MDTF taxonomies only. Drop it. Touch nothing. Save. Oh, touch nothing. Select categories, for example, and let's even check its, its visibility on the front end. Do checkbox. Apply. Save. Let's go to the front. And we have widgets. Let's do something. Beauty. Okay. We found three posts. Uh, that's all. Searching is a work already, but it's the most simple thing filtered by taxonomies. And in some future, we'll I will describe how to make filtering by taxonomies and metadata. Just now we can uh, see that it's working and it's working well. Uh, let's make one test. Let's go to the settings. And change to Archive. And what will be the difference? Uh, with this, them no difference at all. Looks like it's uh, using using the same content files. Yes, template parts context. The search search have the same. Uh, let me describe it for the future. For example, somebody want to customize. Uh, layout and uh, how to make it more quickly. Of course, for customizing layout, you are need now. Uh, you have to now code a little. So maybe uh, you now code a little. And let me show you. For example, let's copy archive and paste here, and let's name it my archive. 
Now, my search any name doesn't matter. Search out. Let's copy it. Go to the go to the plugin settings. Okay. So let's write something here. Update here. Yes. So just now it's working with this template, and we can uh, change code of it as we want. And uh, add here any uh, new la layout elements. It's just the most quick. It's the most quickest way to realize such logic. Mm, for example, let's change something before I don't need it. For example, let's do. do, do, do. Okay, template part. Um, looks like it will be empty just now. Yes, it's empty. Okay, let's print just for example the title. The title. Mm, of course. Of course, part of working with the code is out of this uh, video. So I'm just showing you principle how you can, uh, how you can customize it. But if you're usual user, just use it. search or archive, and make sure that you then have these two files because I um, I met a lot of them which doesn't have uh, or search or archive the most uh, worst them is, uh, has uh, hasn't bought these files but it's not a good way so okay we can filter by taxonomies and it's okay but the uh, name of the plugin is metadata and taxonomies filter so taxonomies filter it's okay what about metadata uh, to filter by any metadata, we have to create this metadata. For example, uh, I want to create by ages. I don't know, it's just uh, simple. I want to have a range slider on the front, uh, and it uh, will be named as ages from 20 to 100. Okay. So just for it existing exists a constructor, meta constructor. And uh, what we have to do here, we have to add new section. Let's its name basic. Any name you want. Prepend, append, filter item. As it's, we have no elements, doesn't matter. Let's press append. H press toggle, select here, range slider, we, have, we want from 20 to 100, step 5, it can be one, well, doesn't matter, your logic here, prefix, e postfix, we need postfix, yes, pretty file, let it be yes, search inside range just now that doesn't do not touch nothing and one little thing it's always uh, any section should be uh, attached to um, mdtf category let it be mdtf cut one uh, no, no, no. people is just an example publish so what we have, uh, we have this one filter by uh, by metadata. But our posts is new. They doesn't know about these ages at all. So what we have to do, we have to go to each post and set data here. Select people 
and set age, for example, 55. Update. And we have to go to each port, post, and change data here. Uh, to make work more convenient, we have do we can do next. Let's go to category people and look it's take ID 91. Let's go to the settings. Select here post, it's selected already. Right, uh, right 91, press assign. Uh, watch changed. Only one thing. We don't need press here and wait of um, why when this form will be showing. So let's add data to our posts just for test. So I applied some data to posts, and what we have we have MDTF taxonomies widget. We don't need, we can't work with it because it's only taxonomies. Okay, let's drop this widget, MDTF. Select uh, MDTF category here, people, slug. As we using only post slug on this side, let's leave it as is post. Important thing, as we want just now, only on this moment, filter only by um, metadata, we have to hide taxonomy as value filter options. As we have already all data installed on the filter page settings and we want to use the same settings, do nothing here. But anyway, each widget can has its own settings. For this, so you can create, for example, ten widgets with different templates and with different results output pages. Okay, it's a text. Let be as text here. We are not using taxonomies. Don't touch nothing here. Save. Okay, let's go to the front. And what we have. As, it might, as I mark it, only five posts just for this test. There is show me that I have five posts with age between 20 and 100. Let's look posts from 16 to 100. Okay, one, one little thing. So, there is two posts found between 60 and 100 years. Yes, it's three posts. Okay, 75, the same, 18, two posts found. Okay, let's press reset. Reset. Reset is uh, by the uh, by the way. Uh, if you will drop any link here, reset custom link, it will us reset to this page. So we can use any page for reset. It's very convenient in this case when we're using widget. One moment. Custom reset link. Uh, usually, custom reset link a result of both page link. Result of page page link is the same but in this case not the same okay but what about if you want to use taxonomies together uncheck this checkbox say let's go to the front and you will see nothing why because just now when we are using mdtf widget this widget works with this constructor and we what we have here with categories people which is selected here we have only one section basic which has only a range slider so it's okay here it's all right so 
we have to add new section. Right there, for example, tilde taxonomies. By the way, a tilde we can use when we don't want to show um, headers of the section on the front. Taxonomies. Prepend, append, drop it here, toggle, and select here taxonomy. Check, people, publish. This element taxonomy is just only mark for the filter and uh, it will show all taxonomies which is check it here so if i just refresh page here i will see the same nothing for this i have to select which taxonomies i want to show on the front categories how i want to show them as check boxes, so select check boxes here. Apply. Save. Just now we have metadata and taxonomies filter on the front. Uh, what about ordering of it? The same no problem. Let's go here. For example, I want C first is taxonomies. Let it be zero, and here will be one. Update. Mm. Okay, but what about vice versa? Okay, zero, and here will be one. Okay, it's worked. Select any age for items, three items, and let it be only showcase. So we found post between 45 and 80 h which is belongs to showcase taxonomy and let it be the same plus technology yes two items so just now we realized uh, realized uh, very simple filtration by taxonomies and meta data filter another thing of course it's just on the categories but i for example want to um, want to create uh, custom taxonomy locations for example or any another taxonomies for example add on this demo site let's look on it So here I created custom taxonomy locations and I want to use it. Yes, works fine. Okay, what should I do with it? Just for this, you had to install you have to install this plugin uh, custom post type we. Of course you can find it here add new. And just search it here. It's free. Then go to the its settings, add the taxonomies, uh, create locations, locations, uh, locations, attach to post type post. Go to the bottom here, hierarchical. Yes, true. Show we where you are. Show admin column true. Add taxonomy. Let's go to our post and what we can see locations is here. Uh, as it worked before, I, of course I created some new locations. And uh, let me do it one more thing. I um, add some cities. For example, Bonn. Oh, uh, of course. And parent of bond will be Germany. And uh, Madrid, for example. And Kiev. Let's, let's go to Germany. 
Spain and Ukraine. Uh, it's just a cache, understood. Okay, no problem. Let's go to our post and make it by hand. Open some posts and just attach these taxonomies. Okay, let's close it. Let's go to the widget update widget page. Open widget. What we can see? Locations here. Okay. How we can uh, how want we can how want we look at it? As drop down, let's leave it as is save. Let's go to front page. Look. So we have of course if you want to show it. First, just drag and drop. Update the page, of course. So let's look. Let's look only Spain posts. Yes, we can see only Spain posts, and we can operate with data here and with categories in dynamic recount. Recounted as how many. Variants we have. So, for example, if I will check beauty, I will see one post which is Spain and then under beauty. Reset. Okay, let's select it again. And let's select city here. Of course, it, a lot of cities can be. Uh, what about if you want to show? Uh, this drop down as country and under this drop down another disabled drop down as city let's go to the widget settings and uh, just read this leave this field empty to show taxonomy names as title use syntax like country region city to display parents and child with another titles in first drop down option Let's copy paste it. We need only country city. Are they understood? It's just any word. It can be hello one, hello two, doesn't matter. It's just logic of your site. The same logic uh, of this name. I name it because I decided to uh, implement taxonomy terms there as a uh, cities so it's just words we are working with all words so i name it country city okay apply save update yes we have country but i can see uh, city here let's back there show all child terms at once below yes And then here it is. It's disabled because we can select city while we will not select country. Let's select country. Germany. I'm dating city. Yes, it works. Okay. Just now when I select any element from the search form, I can see that uh, filter works instantly but what about if i let firstly customer select any uh, elements here and then press filter button let's go to the widget and uncheck auto submit and that's all safe <laughs>
tester. Just now we select Germany. We select H. Uh, another side of this medal in that that we uh, can't now. If we select, for example, entertainment here, it can be found nothing. Let's check it. It will be found nothing. Yes, found nothing. Because just now we can't now. If we select uh, Spain, if we select H, uh, how many variants? If we select any of these taxonomies, how many possible? I don't know. I, I will be knowing about this only if I press filter. The same. So I can select H, I can select Spain. Let it be 25. Filter. Maybe I will find. Yes, I found two items. Because we really have variants we post between 25 and 100 ages and in this pane. So maybe for somebody is, and maybe for some filters it will be okay. Wait, but if I want check something and it's always will find something. Ajax item recount. Just check it. Save. Items recount, I mean, not output, recount. Recount is working only for search form. Just now, look at this. So, selected Spain. Okay, it recounted me. And regenerate search form only with variants which is really exists. So, if I will press WordPress News, it will be recounted again. And when I will press filter, let's do just now. I will find one item. Yes, really, I found I found one item. So such deals, and it's your logic how you want to make it working. Okay, it's understood with the widget. Uh, let's look what the fill. Uh, um, so we have task. We want create a JAX filter with its own layout. Okay. This will not be working anyway. Why? Because it's all a P of the plugin. Plugin can't now in with what WordPress M it will be working. Each WordPress M has its own HTML structure, so there is no prediction. Just for this, had been created another mechanism. So let's go and create simple page, and let's name it Ajax Searching. Default, nothing. Simple page. And it's nothing here. Uh, the mob, but it's the them doesn't allow. I want to hide. I want to hide the uh, sidebar here, but I can't. Doesn't matter if you have good option, hide it. We don't need this widget at all just now. Let's go and create short code. What does it mean? What is it search code? You will see. Let's create one. Name it as you want, by your logic. Select filter. I select category filter here. Okay. Uh, you can hide something here, but we don't need it just now. Taxonomy is only filter. If we want to create short code without selecting sele uh, filter category only, we need to check this. Just now we don't need to check it. Ignore filter category in the WP query. So we are using a filter category. So we, when we don't want to use it, we want to filter all post and doesn't matter which category is set there. We can use this option. A result output page link. Let's use this link. Result output template self. And I will show why. Because this page 
has nothing has not in play. It's usual page. And we have we have to use any short code here to show any results here. Okay, custom text for search results. Uh, leave it as is. Custom reset link. The same. Auto submit. Let it for firstly let it be auto submit. Show count. Uh, hide empty terms. It will be working dynamic recount. Show reset button. Show found items count text. How many posts uh, had been found? Filter button text. It will be filter filter by default, or you can write here. Doesn't matter. Publish. Okay, let's look here. Which taxonomies we want to use? Let it be locations and categories. Locations I want to use the same way as in the widget. One child below, all child below. Taxonomy custom title. Uh, country, city. With the same syntax. Excluded terms. If we want, uh, if we doesn't want to show any cities in the search form, we can use using comma its terms ideas. What is the term uh, terms ideas? Let's look on the locations. For example, we don't want to show any Germany cities. We need use this seventeen here, yeah. but we not need it just now. Okay, 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 okay. Update. So what's next? Next, we can just copy paste here this form <laughs> and nothing more. Okay, taxonomies. Only one little question where with the taxonomies. One moment. Ah, it's not little question. <laughs> of course, we just we need check it. I didn't. Uh, let's update. Forget about this widget. But what about results? Of course, let's do something. But we will not get any results here. Why? Because there is no any uh, output templates installed here. What we have on it. And the search form ID short code. But where how in in which way should the results be appeared here? Um, okay. So let's go to the documentation. Uh, one moment. Okay, refresh. Uh, let's go to the web filter com documentation uh, let's go here filtering any post types using shortcut md custom and download these templates so i downloaded this already and uh, inserted in my current them so it should be inserted as here uh template uh folder all of them and the templates be care to not insert it twice I mean, 2016 MDF templates, MDF templates. Okay, so we have templates. What is what these templates means? Just now, nothing. We have to use it with the shortcode MDF custom. So let's click on this page here, and we will find this shortcode. Let's copy this and copy this here. And let's uh, change some data. For example, post type product, we need post. Ordered by date, let it, let it be, let it be. Page one per page nine, pagination, essentials, if panel ID, let's remove. Okay, let's update. Update. And now we can see found two items. Uh, what is really going on? So it's working this template my cars too. Let's look at it. Any slash my cars too. Any open my cars too. Of course you can try self and other templates. 
let's go inside. So here is just HTML and PHP code, uh, which I designed just for example. But of course, you can design it and use it for your own purposes. How to create your own template, you can find here for video how to create custom output template. Now just uh, just let you this one. So what we can see on the front of it. Filtering is working fine. It's okay. Uh, what is it? <coughs> In post fancy da -da -da, it's just this short code. So we can remove it. Let's remove it and look on the front end. It's more nice just now here. Description. I'm using this short code MDF course features panel. It uh, shows all metadata which we are using in the post. So this age, uh, this post has age 35, this post has age 90, something like this, but your logic. Okay, let's back this in post fancy uh, short code. And let's try to do something with it. It's very cool gallery. So let me quickly show you how to install it. Let's go to the plugins. Plugins. Add new. Right here, impost. In. Let it be impost gallery. Just uh, impost enough to install it. Going on. And let's activate it. Let's go to post. For example, this post. And mm -hmm. look, it's here. It's new meta box here. In post gallery, add, add slides. Okay, let's add slides. No, no, no. Let's another thing. Let's go to this post and assemble some slides exactly to this one. Add slides. Select files or for media library doesn't matter. Just now this this site has nothing. Images uh, abstract the ground for example. Couple of slides. Let's just with loads. So we uploaded some images insert into post. And it's Loaded. Loaded. Okay. Uh, what we can do here, for example, these, these, these things. Right on it here. Okay. Update. Let's go and update this. Here it is. So we have gallery in the inserted in this in the display. And we can use it. Uh, let's look. Let's look another uh, another template, more pretty one. Car stream. It's this is more interesting. Of course, uh, it should be edited with some CSS code to looks to make it look more attractive. But just now it's working. Okay, let's press reset. Reset. It's working. Look, pages. One, two, three, and it uh, looks not very attractive. Let's go to the plugin settings. In build pagination. Save settings. Looks like it's okay. Okay, but uh, when this page is loaded, it shows all posts, but it should show only eight posts. Eight posts marked by the metadata category ID. I mean this one by people. It's ninety one. Let's go to this. One moment. Okay, let's just press here. Edit. 
Okay. Let's write here meta data data filter cat. New page. Eight. The same. A lot of posts. And this is right. Look. We mark it all posts, but this metadata metadata filter ID. So if we want to use for example two or three metadata filter categories. We can use it with the same post type slug. For example, with just post. And in this MDF custom shortcode, we have to apply it to show it on the start page only that selected post by that filter category. I hope you understood me. So, uh, how we name the page? Ajax searching. Is Ajax just now working? No, it's not working. It's a redirect a redirection model. Okay, let's make it Ajax. Firstly, go to the short code. I'm in this MDF search form. And uncheck this. Ajax auto recount, Ajax items output. Okay. Let's check it is working or not. Refresh. And it will not be working. Change nothing. Why? Because it's described in this video how to create Ajax searching. But now we will fit in this video quickly. So let's go to the documentation. Uh, here and uh, we are looking at this short code and uh, here is described about a jazz short code the results by jazz so we need cover this short code in this short code to make it to adjectify it okay let's do it so let's close this Okay, we're here. Remove this. Don't forget to change quota to the right one. Previous one was wrong. So, okay. Animate, take the body. Copy. Remove this. Replace quota. Okay, update. Update this page. Let's try to find something. Okay, two Spain cities. It's working. By the way, look, when we uh, press it, search, it's animated us to the same top. But for example, I want to animate, uh, be animated just nearly here. So you can see by right click mouse code of your uh, template uh, okay let it be this ID and DFM duos results by Ajax copy this go here target body will be this target Refresh this page. Let's select again. So we change target and it's animated us here. If we don't want any animation, just set it zero here and there will be no animation there. Let's update. Select something like this. It changed. So, so what's next? Uh, what about looking over this search form? 
So uh, there is some predefined uh, templates for this search form. For example, Colladin, uh, Colla, sorry. It's has another CSS rulers. Uh, and something another. For example, custom. If you want to customize CSS of search form, set custom here, it will be applied not any CSS code from the, from the plugin. So you will have to self write any code for it if you want it. Uh, what I can recommend, use this call one or call one one. Okay, it's right because it's disabled drop down. Let's check it. Yes, so it's worked. So what I show in this video, how to start, how to start with taxonomies, how quickly change template if you know how or to work with the coder. Uh, how to work with the MDF custom short code uh, and how to work with MDF search form it's here and uh, how to use Ajax and what can I see what can I show uh, more uh, let's go to this demo let me show how to create order by panel order by panel for example like this one date title in uh, our in a, our uh, situation it will be date title e years so let's go on the sort source panels of course i will show how to use mdf constants links add new sort panel name it as you want so Sort panel one. Let it be not drop down but buttons. Show results next miss navigation. It means that all taxonomies which is take part in the um, search query will be displayed. So check it. Uh, add meta key. Special words. ID other title. Uh, this is all words we can use. Example, use it like this special words and then uh, any any uh, any word you want to type and matter uh, title title then date date and then my thing but let's go not here uh, let's go to our constructor let's go to basic let's go here this key it's a little ugly. No problem. Let's write it just now. H and change meta key. That's all. And all will be working fine. Let's copy this. Play the best here. And write H. Publish. Uh, let's go to to the short coders, uh, uh, short coders we using this short coding. Go to the same bottom. Select here sort panel one. Update. Uh, refresh this page. Okay. Let's oh, let's select something here. Mm, we can see this. Let's reset. So, for example, let's select this. Okay, let's order by H. Oh, yes, it's working. It's working fine. Another question: What about if you want to see post uh, ordering by H from the start? Uh, let me close this. Uh, let's copy this. Let's go to the settings and miscellaneous select here mm -hmm. uh, default order by 
just change meta key here. So, for example, if you will be using this case, system will understand this. This, this is for WooCommerce, by the way, this is already meta key. So, the system will uh, define it as meta key and will be using for ordering. Do not forget to press save, update, update the page. Okay, it's ordered by uh, from the start by the age 55, 35. Do, 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 do. Huh. One little thing don't forget that we mark it order by date, so we can even set ordering here. Let, let's remove it just now to apply default settings. Refresh the page. And now we can see 100, 90, 80, 80, 55, 50, because we are using DSK. Let's use ISK, accessing, ascending. Sorry. So we have from minimum to maximum. DSK from maximum to minimum. Another very interesting thing, for example, uh, uh, let's disable Ajax Modi here. Let's be auto submit. Refresh the page. So let's select something there here. And here. Uh, what about if we want to use this link in our menu, for example, or somewhere on the another sites? Uh, it's not uh, possible to use this link because uh, data of this keeping is a transient on or in the session. So if you will copy and drop this link to the your friend, he will see everything because uh, system will not recognize it. Uh, because system will not recognize it. Let's uh, refresh the page. So, so what to do in this thing? You want to create a marketing link. For these cases, there is exist MDF sort uh, constants links. Go here, a new constant link, um, link one, for example. Drop here link, publish. So, all is up. Now you can use this link. And it's showing two results. Look on this. So, you, now you can drop it everywhere as you want. So, share this link. But it's not very beautiful link. What about if you want something another, something more beautiful? Okay. Look on this page. On this site, recommended plugins. Um, I can recommend you install this plugin, Pretty Link Lite. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it's a usual procedure and plugins are new. So let me install it. And we so I just installed it and activated it. And they see here new item in the my sidebar menu. Okay, add new link. Let's press here. Add new link. Um, here I can recommend you set 301 permanent redirection. From here, copy this link, drop it here. And one thing, one mind thing. Look, my best VR, for example. Create. Okay, copy it from here. Drop it in here. Look how it looks. It's fine. It and so friendly. Let's look. And let's make redirection to this constant link. So you can share that beauty link we just created with everyone on another side, and it will be great for your site. So in this video I showed you all basics uh, questions, how to create. 
if you want to know more information in more details i already created a lot of videos so i can recommend this video how to create simple car dealer site uh, here is more details describe more details um, uh, how to create good filtering on your site how to create a jack searching how to create custom about late so i think it's all if you have any questions you can always write to the support bye